Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited. I have finally got my hands on some of this jelly gouache. This is actually a pretty trendy art supply. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube raving about these and uh, so many people have unboxed them and I just wanna have a go and see what they're like for myself. So the set I actually bought online came with this free pack of paint brushes and I just think that that is so convenient. Uh, I'm always in the market for more paint brushes and these look really cute. So if you don't know what the jelly gouache is, it's basically a paint set that comes in this really cool palette and uh, it's actually called a Mia Himi jelly gouache and it comes in this nice little set here and I actually picked the pink one. I really wanted the yellow one but I couldn't find it in stock anywhere near me so I had to go with the pink which is still really cute. Now the reason it's actually called jelly gouache is because it comes in lots of individual little jelly style packets. As you can see, these are basically individual little pots of uh, gouache paint and you basically peel the lid off them and set them up in this palette and it looks really, really nice. The first thing that went through my mind when I took this out of the set is uh, forbidden nugget sauce. This basically looks like a little barbecue sauce packet and I just think it's so cute and I can't wait to get them all open and, you know, test the paint out. Now opening all of these up, I thought it was actually going to be more difficult than it was. Sometimes I struggle with opening nugget sauce, but these weren't too bad. I did have to sort of wipe the paint that was on the bottom of the lid into the pot because I don't want to waste that paint. Now initially, without putting the paint down on the paper yet, the colors look really nice. This paint looks really nice and creamy and thick. I love that the first one I opened was a purple because purple is actually my favorite color. So now we've got the first few open, let's open the rest of these little bad boys. Isn't it kind of satisfying seeing all of these being opened at once? It kind of feels wrong to open every single paint. I don't know why, just having them all open at once, kind of scary. But I love that you can actually close the lid and it will, you know, keep them all fresh. I think that's really convenient, especially if you just want to whip it out and start painting straight away. And here we are, look at all of this delicious paint. Forbidden Nugget Sauce. It actually looks really nice. I love all the colors in here and I'm really glad that I got this big set because I'm not the best with um, mixing colors. <laughs> so now it's time to swatch all of these out. I really want to test all of these on the paper and just see how they look, especially uh, see how they look when they're dry as well because sometimes colors change ever so slightly when uh, the paint dries and I want to see if they are as vibrant as they are when they're wet. Now I am diluting a little bit with water just so that it spreads nice and evenly on the page. I also do this with uh, my regular gouache paints as well. I just, I don't know, I really like how with these paints you can uh, dilute them like with watercolor and use like a watercolor uh, style of painting and then you can also like use them more thicker and um, you know, use them more like an acrylic paint. They're, they're sort of like an all rounder kind of paint, which I really like. And that's probably what I'm going to be doing today. I'm probably going to be uh, using both those techniques in my artwork. So for the idea of the artwork that I'm going to make today, I kind of want to do another dragon. I know I did a dragon in my last video, but uh, dragons are like one of my favorite things. And I really want to try and do a more detailed one this time uh, with the background and stuff like that, because I don't know, it feels like it's been quite a while since I've drawn a proper dragon with like a detailed background. And I just really, really want to get into it. So I'm just doing a rough sketch first, just with a colored pencil. It doesn't matter what kind of colored pencil I'm using uh, because I'm going to be covering this up mostly with paint, but I am using a sort of like a light brownish color because well, that's going to sort of blend in to the background because those are some of the colors that I'm gonna be using. And for inspiration, I'm actually taking a bit of inspiration 
from a place in Australia called the 12 Apostles. This is actually a really cool place in Australia because you have these tall cliffs and then out in sort of where the ocean uh, meets the sand, there's these really tall rocks that look like they used to be part of the cliffs but they've broken off and moved and there are 12 of them and they're really tall and cool looking. It's actually on my to-do list to go and visit there someday. I think it would be really nice. So for the painting style of the background, I am diluting this paint quite a bit to get it sort of watery, kind of like watercolor. And I'm really surprised with how vibrant it is even when it's diluted so much. Now I am using a watercolor paper that I don't often like to use. And that's mainly because I'm kind of out of the watercolor paper that I like to use. So I kind of had to use this one. And it is hot pressed watercolor paper that I'm using today. And uh, I don't know, I've tried so many times to like hot pressed watercolor paper. Um, I know you can get some really smooth washes and stuff with it, but I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know why. The paint just feels different going on this, on this paper. And that's nothing to do with the paint because it happens with all the different kinds of paints. I guess I'm just not a hot press watercolor paper person. I'm a cold press one. But that's okay, regardless of the paper that I'm using, I'm still having quite a lot of fun painting on it, which is saying something because it must be the goodness of these paints to actually make me enjoy painting on a surface that I normally don't like to. So as you can see, we have a nice little scene here. Now I'm going to be placing the dragon on the rock, which is closest uh, to the viewer here, the one in the sort of foreground. I'm going to have it sort of facing out towards the ocean and I'm really excited because I think it's going to look pretty cool. Now I am just roughly sketching out uh, a base for the dragon because well I don't want to just go straight into paint I want to make sure that the anatomy of this guy is right. And after this I'm going in with a color that I mixed it's sort of a bluish green kind of aqua color. And that's the color that I'm starting off with. I felt like it would suit the scene most because we have those yellows and we have those blues and we have like tiny amounts of greens in this artwork. So I felt like a, a sort of aqua blue color would work pretty good. Especially if a dragon is living by the seaside, it probably would have colors like blue and such so that it would, uh, it would blend into its background. Now I am adding a little bit of a pop of a different color and that is purple here. I just love purple so much. I'm a big purple person. I love the color purple. I love having everything purple. <laughs> but I had to add a little bit of purple because I just really, really wanted another color in there and it looked good. Now I'm actually going in for the scales of this dragon and I used a lighter color. I basically took that same aqua but mixed a little bit of yellow and white into it and I drew lots of little dots all over the dragon to act as its scales. Now I didn't love this straight away, <laughs> I don't know, it felt like it was kind of just too flat, it didn't match the background too much and it kind of looked a bit too cartoony for the background so I ended up adding in a little bit more of a darker uh, aqua colour with some dots here and there and then I used a bit of water to sort of blend that in to try and add a little bit of shading to this dragon to get him to look a little bit more realistic and make his uh you know his shadows and stuff match the background a little bit more and that actually helped quite a bit and I'm actually really liking the way this guy is turning out. Now as you can see with the paints I'm actually using them a lot thicker than I did on the background and that's because well I kind of had to cover up the background now didn't I but I wanted to test how they worked uh, being less diluted as well and I felt like they were really really nice they are a pretty good gouache paint now with this I'm just adding a little bit more shadows and highlights as you can see I'm adding some to the purple areas to get those scales to look really nice and shiny and after this I'm also using a little bit of Prussian blue uh, just to add some really nice deep shadows to this dragon to try and push that contrast a little bit and to just just to get it to stand out a little bit more from the background and I am loving the way this is turning out at first I was scared but now I'm really happy with it I decided to go with a bold color for the wing membranes and I actually diluted the paint for that and layered it on so that it looked somewhat translucent 
and I really love that effect. I feel like it looks really cool and I'm happy with the colors I picked too because they just look so vibrant against the natural sort of background and this dragon's looking pretty cool I think. So here's the final results and I absolutely love this dragon. Oh, he just looks so majestic and chill and happy up on that rock <laughs> and I'm happy for him. <laughs> Anyways, these gouache paints are really nice. I'm very happy that I got them. I was actually in the market for a new gouache because I had an old packet that was like a sort of cheapy sort of packet it was like from the dollar store and uh, yeah I wanted to get some new gouache and I'm definitely going to be using them a lot more in the future these were fun and I definitely recommend them as well so thank you so much for watching I hope you really enjoyed this video I had so much fun painting this little guy and uh, yeah have you tried these paints out yourself do you like them do you not like them comment below I want to hear what you guys have to say and thank you all again so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.